Hello my friends, thank you for joining me at Evolutionary Energy Arts once again. What I want to show you is the changes that have occurred when we compare the results of two different studies on plate motions. And the first study, uh, this is the link to that, and I will have it for you. This was done in 2011. The second study is a new study, it was just done in 2018. And this is going to compare the motion of the plates in a seven year period and how they've changed and where they've stayed the same and it's really fascinating to look at. So if we look at the map, the red lines are basically the 2011 study. The black lines are the 2018. So we see that the plate motion in some areas, you know, it's just increased in the same basic direction, uh, perhaps changing 5 to 20 degrees. And in some places, it's completely 90 degrees or almost the exact opposite direction. And when we look at these locations where things are really different and changed, it's at the poles and it's at the South Atlantic anomaly. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Let's look at Antarctica first. So you see the plate motion with these red arrows. That's where the forces are going in the 2011 survey. Now a longer arrow is, is a faster, faster movement. A shorter arrow is less movement. So we can see it's very, very changed from what it was. Radically different. Here you actually have the motion going in different directions. If we look at this one arrow here, we have north, pretty much a northeasterly direction, and now it's going a southeasterly. Same thing with this one. Same thing over here. And as we look, some have sped up and some have slowed down. But big, big differences at the southern plate, at the Antarctic plate. A change in direction. And the pressures over on this side of the plate have done the exact opposite. So fascinating. And over here, we're looking at motion basically coming to a stop and slowing down. So this is really some fascinating stuff. Look over here at Cascadia. Um, you can see the motion has increased. And then we see over here in the North American plate, it's slightly changed. And it's gone from basically a west-southwesterly to more of just a southwesterly flow. And so the greatest changes are at the Antarctic plate and up you know, basically at the poles. So that's what we would expect with pole shifts. And if we look over here, this is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, and this is the South Atlantic Anomaly Area, and we see definitely changes going on here. Whereas before in 2011 over here, we had the motion going in a basically a norther, north northwesterly direction. Now it's it's totally shifted to the southwest, or maybe west southwest. The forces have changed, and then over here, when you look over here, it's pretty clear what's happening here. Uh, you know from the forces going on. This is going to grow, you know, so what we're having is the Atlantic Ocean expanding as the Pacific is going to, you know, basically decrease. But the Atlantic is increasing. But I would say perhaps one of the things that is most interesting of all is the stopping in the motion over here in the European area of the Eurasian Plate. If you look at it, it's come to almost a dead stop. So geologically speaking, when, when things come to a dead stop, you expect that there's pressures building, typically. 
and pressure building usually is not a good thing because you are usually going to get a bigger release later and I mean this is just my take on this and let me listen to you guys maybe there's some disagreement maybe there's some some uh, new light that could be shed on this motion I'll have all these links for you guys I find this fascinating to look at and to see the changes that are going on there's big changes going on you know no doubt the poles are shifting no doubt we're in that time period that has been talked about for you know millennia while we're there and uh, there are definitely big changes going on so especially with that European plate over here and it basically coming to a stop the Ar Antarctic plate you know kind of reversing direction almost um, the Australian plate really hasn't changed too much and as you can see there's great motion on it very very interesting to study you know it's like the more I look at things the more I think and I could be totally wrong that one of the safest places to be is going to be in Africa and not that I'm going to relocate to Africa or have any plans to um, you never know you just never know but it's just like I'm s I've been starting to get that feeling more and more um, it would be interesting if Africa turns out to be the breadbasket of the world, wouldn't it? After all the changes are done with all the famine and everything that, you know, the African continent has gone through. And of course, it, according to many theories, it's the cradle of our civilization, uh, according to the out of Africa theory and all. Um, wouldn't it be interesting if in the next uh, era the world goes through, Africa is the bread basket of the world interesting but these plate motions are fascinating and I think that you have to take them as verification for the you're definitely an indication that yes we're, we're definitely in a pole shift here because you see complete changes look at the changes in direction things are completely changing and you know at some point we may not recognize the face of the earth because it's going to be so vastly different and so I have links for these studies I'm gonna try to get a second video out later on today because there's more stuff I wanted to cover but I was just studying this for like just staring at it for like the last hour and a half and it's just hitting me so many things are hitting me with it and one of the things it reminded me of was Edgar, Cathy, Edgar Cayce's um, talk about what's going to happen with the earth changes and in one part he said the upper portion of Europe will be changed as in the twinkling of an eye it's just going to be an immediate thing and I'm wondering if it has anything to do with the plate coming to a standstill basically and slowing down and pressures building and then all of a sudden there's a quick motion and perhaps that quick motion would end up causing you know disruption of uh, ice sheets and glaciers and things along those lines and um, you know you gotta wonder uh, but I feel that I mean that's kinda like the inner voice talking saying that what we're seeing in this picture that we have here is the building up of pressure that will be released when that change in northern Europe happens in a twinkling of an eye when all of a sudden there's slippage and you have a major earthquake because of the change in direction in some of the plates and because of the pressure building and thus we'll get what Casey had seen in his visions and you know many of these things were supposed to have happened um, 10 15 you know 20 years ago but and so some people will throw all these prophecies out because the timeline was wrong you know and and he's he's off time wise but then again the changes that he's talking about 
they 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 make perfect sense with what we see starting to happen and they also jive with so many changes talked about by so many other people so you know perhaps the timing was off and perhaps that's because of our influence and how we can actually change and bend reality according to what energy we put out there do you remember doctor well, i keep calling them doctor but masaro emoto's experiments with water our consciousness changes water you know this world is full of water and it basically just shows that our consciousness can create reality so if we are visualizing a gentle transition we can definitely affect that if we are basically seeing the earth changes happen at a slower pace more and more people are visualizing this the earth changes happening at a slower pace seeing people being able to get out of the dangerous zones with plenty of time and move to safer zones we we can totally transform the way that the changes are going to come and the changes are coming but we could transform it and we could save so many people and start building that beautiful new world that is spoken of in all these different prophecies whether you're talking biblical whether you're talking you know Edgar Casey's visions whether you're talking the Hopi Indians and many other um, you know tribes and different groups across the whole planet there's amazing similarities and I'm going to touch on that in the next video I do um, between so many of these prophecies that you know they're tapping into the same thing completely and if we look at what's going on at the upper level winds right now it's fascinating it really is we still have that main vortex going on in Siberia or actually at the top of the Urals in uh, Russia very strong circulation we have an increased strong circulation going on over uh, Greenland and northern Canada we also have other vortices developing. It's interesting because it reminds me of that plasma experiment. It just so looks like what we saw with that plasma experiment. And as everything slows down, as the magnetic charge gets weaker and weaker and weaker, you get all these vortices developing instead of one strong north polar vortex. So I don't know man this 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 just makes perfect sense to me completely perfect sense to me you know plasma core electric universe expanding earth it, it all seems to go and seems to be so incredibly logical so what's gonna happen next that's the big question I, I do think that we're in for a huge shift and and these upper level winds are just fascinating to watch and I, I wish I had more friends that were meteorologists to confirm to me that you know these look unusual you know to say the least it's pretty amazing and some had said well what about what's going on in Antarctica as far as you know the vortex there the polar vortex and as you can see Basically, it, it's only moved slightly towards New Zealand and Australia as far as the polar vortex, but it's, it's relatively close to true south as, as we would know it. It hasn't moved like the north, and it has a more traditional singular vortex going on, not like what you see in the north. But it's fascinating, fascinating, and then this is all the upper level winds and as we can see it's damn cold down there it's basically 60 below you know high high 50s below and as we can see what happened before is uh, happening again basically where you have 35, 33, you know, 31 below over in, in northern Russia, 33 below in Canada, 32 below. And then when we get to the Arctic Circle, it's only 7 below, you know, looking at like true North Pole. 
Not that Seven Below is warm. It's not, you know, obviously. Yet, it's way warmer than it is off in northern Russia or in Canada. And see, the flow is different than what we had before when we had the double vortex. When we had the vo vortex before, the double vortex, the flow is going on up into the circle. And so this is kind of emanating from the Geyer area and moving on out and over. So as we go on into the spring and then the summer, it's going to be very, very interesting to follow all this. The, uh, the wind pattern's fascinating. It's just fascinating to watch what, what's going on everywhere, everywhere. And we have, as far as earthquakes, we have a, a ton of swarming again in California and also in Alaska. You know, very, very similar to what we've had. We have a couple big ones going on. Uh, a 6.4 in Indonesia at 171 kilometers and a 6.6 .6 in New Guinea at 40 kilometers and this 6.6 .6 some people were showing as a 6.8 so thinking that the USGS downgraded it. Uh, one of the other things I really wanted to point out in getting a stronger feel for and about going back to that other map was um, Cascadia and the pressures that are going on here I feel, and this is this is perhaps, f you know, from my dream as and a gut feeling that's building. I think that the next big earthquake we're going to have is going to be over in this area. It's going to be Washington, British Columbia, Oregon area. It feels like it. the 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 pressure here has increased, as we see, where the pressure from the uh, Pacific plate over here has stayed about the same and is flowing away this plate has increased and it's going in and a slight different angle from the plate the North American plate so it feels to me I'm sensing something's got to give in that area and uh, that's that's the area that is just speaking to me so just a heads up area you know and and you know we could definitely have some of those volcanoes going off in that area over there so something to be aware of my friends and um, this one I'm gonna end it kinda quick I just wanted to get this info out for you guys because it's just speaking to me and I just felt like I had to get this out to you guys and then I will be doing another uh, video on some other things that are happening and some other semi realizations that I've had that I want to share with you guys and I thank you all for sending in your photos it's awesome there is some wild stuff going on thank you for sharing your dreams your visions and what's going on you know we're, we're in tune my friends we are so in tune with each other I, I would say that like 90 something percent of what's coming in is in total agreement it's amazing we're all feeling for the most part the same things we're getting the same voice coming through to us we're getting the same precautions and warnings and things that we must pay attention to so thank you guys i'm going to put together some composites of what you're sending in and everybody will re remain anonymous um, but i want to share this with you guys because you know it, it's just fascinating 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 and uh, you know in the Bible it does say that in the end times people are gonna you know dream and prophesize and receive visions and it's not just the Bible it's the same thing with the Native American traditions it's the same thing with pretty much all the traditions when we look at it this is a universal thing we know what's happening and so many of us have come here right here right now for the purpose of setting up the transition into the new era that we're going to step into because it's so important for us the most important thing for us right now is to set up the next era in mankind and on the earth so that it doesn't get polluted like it has with the corporations the elite with everything being twisted in such a perverse way you know where it's people's lives don't mean as much as corporate profits and that is not going to be the way the next era is this is all about getting rid of that
and that's that's what's happening now it's it's mother earth you know basically saying and you know you could view it as mother earth working with father you know up in the sky or however you want to view it it doesn't really matter how we label it because these energies these beings are way beyond labels as are you and i in our truest sense we're way beyond labels and one of the things we need to move past is past labeling things and i've shared with you before that's one of the things i'm working on really hard is trying not to label things just trying to simply accept things the way they are and to find gratitude and peace and love in them and to enjoy every single day you know make precautions and and make your plans you know we we, we shouldn't be uh, foolish and we shouldn't be you know we should be prudent and set things up uh, you know only only somebody with their head in the sand wouldn't you know go ahead and make some plans but yet we should enjoy every single day and look at every single day as a blessing so you know give your family members give your friends an extra hug you know give them a big kiss <coughs> tell them how much they mean to you share that let somebody know you know um, i really appreciate you thank you a lot you know sending that energy out into the world will just start to change the world and that's the type of energy we need to send into the world so no fear prepare love positive attitude positive vision seeing past the necessary changes that are coming start to conceptualize and visualize the, the new world to come that we are going to create right here on this beautiful planet and i thank you guys so much as always thumbs up subscribe and share share with as many people as possible wake them up we need to wake people up we need to pull their heads out of the sand or out of other locations and we need to make people realize what's coming up but do it in a positive way yeah, because we're going to get rid of the old system of distrust, of disease, of corporate profits at the expense of health and well-being, of basically the rich and the, and the ultra elite preying on everybody else. So we have a new world coming and let's manifest it and make it happen. Thank you so much, my friends. As always, share, subscribe, and share your comments. I look forward to reading them. Take care. Much love.